Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the meme team. We are 6 and 3. We will be simming two games today, playing one, of course, so that way we will be 12 games through the season already on just a 29 game season. I think today we are going to play the Mavericks, and then we will sim past the Pacers and T Wolves. Uh, we're going to play the Mavericks because they look the best out of these two, so obviously we want to play that team because on a sim, we probably won't beat them if they're that much better than us. So let's go ahead and simulate to that day. See if we get any trade offers. Nope. All right, let's play the Mavericks. As our uh, logo is glitched out too, so apparently we're the Milwaukee Wolf Pack, but hopefully that switches and, you know, everything goes well. We are finally playing on the road as we are in Dallas, Texas to play the Mavericks. Let's get it done. They still have Porzingis. It looks like he's been on a tear this season. American Airlines Center. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bobo's jumping with Porzingis. Get that, Bobo. Dang it. All right, let's D up. We've got a lot of faith that that Dinwiddie can get around Luka. It's looking like he can as he goes up, and he goes in and gets blocked. And uh, we're just going to have to shoot something with Christian Wood here at the end of the shot clock. And he knocked it down. All right, Christian Wood. Not what I expected out of that possession at all, as I hate that when you call for a quick ISO, nobody knows how to get out of the way. I just I, I don't understand why nobody knows like to leave. But you know what? Whatever. It'll be all right. So Dinwiddie hit a nice little jumper in transition to give us the four-point lead here early in the game. As they... Oh, my... Okay, Isaac Okoro just missed a dunk. Appreciate you, Isaac Okoro. So I guess we'll still uh, still, still be up 4 nothing. As Let's see if we can get another get another bucket here. As Oops, we want to go to Dini. Let's see if we can run a floppy. See if we can get THGA open for three. Not looking like he's too terribly open, but he's got a nice driving lane, maybe. No? All right. But you know what? Spencer Dinwiddie is open for three. Knocked down. Spencer Dinwiddie for three. Saw him out of the corner of my eye. Jalen Brunson just a little bit too far off. Spencer Dinwiddie's been lights out from three so far this season. That is exactly what we wanted from him. Just speed and shooting, and he's been that exactly here so far. So we're going to use the THJ Christian Wood pick and roll here. Christian Wood had a little bit of room, puts it up inside, couldn't quite get it to fall. That's a shot we need him to hit uh, a little more often going forward. As I don't know what Okoro was thinking there. Good board, Dini, and let's move up the floor yet again. As yeah, look at Dan when he blow by Jalen Brunson. He's got seven here in the first quarter of our nine points, putting the team on his back here early. We're going to use a screen from Christian Wood. So we're going to toss it into him. It's okay. Porzingis is really scaring me here early in this game as Christian Wood couldn't get around Jalen Brunson to get a rebound but yeah Porzingis has already sent back a couple shots so I'm just really trying not to get blocked by him too much because you know he can't send anything back as OTHJ's a little bit up the floor though maybe not enough but Bulbul's inside easy layup for Bulbul piece of cake gotta love the big man running the floor and we're back up four points in come the subs here for the meme team as the Mavericks check in a couple too. Seth Curry, DeLon Wright, Justice Winslow, and Dwight Powell all check in. They're going to leave Porzingis in. Uh, and honestly, probably a good decision there. He's kind of been tearing us up with the defense. But uh, let's just hope that we can, you know, play some more good defense. Way too open for Seth Curry. He did miss it, though. Let's move the floor. Honestly, I think this is a maybe an easy, easy post mismatch for Caruso. As, yeah, we tried it, and Seth Curry fouls him. So the GOAT will head to the line. With Big Taco on the court setting screens, we're going to try a floppy. So it didn't even look like he was the one that set the screen there. So we're going to try it with Kelly Hamilton here. It's Patty McCall, mid-range jumper. Can't quite get it to fall, but Hamilton's there for the offensive rebound and the easy putback. Good stuff there from McCall and Hamilton, even though McCall did miss the jumper. Still put Hamilton in a good position to get the ball. It's all we almost had a steal there with Moutier. Nope. Oh, get out. Moutier sends a shot back as we try to get it up the floor to McCall, who fires it way late. Missed anyway, but Moutier with a nice block there at the end of the quarter. As we will head go, uh, or we will head into the second quarter up six. So a pretty good all-around team effort there in the first quarter. Spencer Dinwiddie does have seven of our 15 points, but that's totally besides the point as I just got freaking swatted by Dwight Powell. I never know when to, when to use the timing on the floater because I feel like no matter what, it always gets blocked. And I honestly don't know why I keep trying him. And Porzingis has got to be getting tired. He still has not checked out of this game. So look at Moutier. Or not Moutier, Mannion. 
He went right around everybody. Was, once again, I don't know how he does not. I don't know how we don't have guys finish those. Like, that does not look that hard. Taco Fall with a pretty easy inside match up here. So he's going up against Seth Curry. Piece of cake. Don't know why he had to throw it backward behind his head like that. But an easy two points for our giant on that possession. We're running a floppy for Kelly Hamilton. You know what? That three was a little deep. We decided to fire it anyway. We need to... I think I need to be more or less uh, less patient with shooting threes. Like, I, I try not to take any that aren't completely wide open, but that's kind of, you know, dumb because a lot of these threes aren't open and we miss them. Um, but we hit a lot of contested ones when we do take them. So Hamilton has an easy lane against Luka Doncic. Hits the, hits the shot and one for Kelly Hamilton. He will head to the line. So he makes the free throw. Nice job there from Kelly. He's got five here in the game. Christian Wood has Jalen Brunson on him in the post. This should be easy money if Bull Bull will get out of the way, but he's going to put it up right hand. Easy drop step. Easy money for Christian Wood. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Nope. Heck no. Absolutely not. Christian Wood rejects the Isaac Okoro layup after our turnover. Absolutely not. Nice pass, Bull Bull sets up Dinwiddie inside for the layup. Good cut there from Dinwiddie, good pass from Bull Bull. And we are up now eight on the Mavs here in the second quarter, just two minutes to go. Let's see if we can maybe push it to double digits before halftime. So after an Isaac Okoro three ball and fast break layup, the lead now just sits at five after the Spencer Dinwiddie layup. But man, they scored five points, or they scored yeah, five points in a, in a hurry right there as they call timeout. And we need some subs. Decided to go with a little small ball lineup here to try to save some of the energy of our starters here. Or not our starters, but just some of our uh, better players. Just really trying to utilize some energy for the end of the half. And maybe try to get some really quick uh, fast break points on the Mavericks here. So there was almost a steal. As, yep, that turns into a freaking Dwight Powell dunk, of course. Because I can't get around Luka. So I guess now it's down to a three-point game. So we had somebody open, but I can't figure out how to pass it there. So now Caruso, what in the hell? What was that? And then, yeah, Isaac Okoro just hits another layup. I absolutely hate the downloaded prospects because Isaac Okoro is nowhere near this good. But he has absolutely drained some threes, and he's hit some incredible layups. In our time here. This nice bucket, Emmanuel Moutier. He gets inside and puts it in. So, wow, these Mavericks fans are annoying here with that Go Mavericks Go chant. Four seconds left in the half. We have a pretty good three look from Moutier right up the court. Couldn't get it to fall. So we are up just one point going into halftime after that incredible, incredible run by Isaac fucking Okoro at the end of the third. Nice rebound, Bull Bull. Tim Hardaway Jr. missed the J, and Bull Bull is there to clean it up. That is always what we like to see. We love the second chance points uh, on this Baltimore team. Definitely want to get as many of those as possible because we do miss quite a few jumpers. Nice rebound, Bull Bull. Another putback for Bull Bull on a second chance effort. That is what we like to see. Out of our, out of our, uh, what do I say, superstar center? He's never been an all-star, so I can't really call him a superstar. But out of one of our uh, top performance, just getting dirty and doing the dirty work there. It's not usually what you'd like to see. As I just could have easily had a block there, but I was not there in time. Danny is Vichas running the floor. Nobody got in his way. Justice Winslow fouls from behind. A horrible foul. I don't know why Danny didn't decide to dunk it, but an and one for Danny is Vicha nonetheless. As he knocks down his high arcing free throw, and it's back up to a four-point lead as I don't know why there's a laugh playing at the Mavericks Arena. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it's a little weird, especially after we hit a free throw. Nope. Get out. What were you thinking, Porzingis? No, sir. No, sir, e Bob. Drop it into Deanie. Deanie goes up. Deanie hit the layup. Jesus Christ, dude. You can't shoot. You can't shoot. You gotta at least hit layups. I don't know what Luca was thinking. They're trying to put one over Taco. 
as I do believe Taco can post up Maxi Kleba. So we're going to let him try to do that. Simple drop step goes up. Easy money for Taco Fall. Back up to a six-point lead for Baltimore. Oh, good steal, Christian Wood. He's not exactly all alone. Is that, you know what? It's just Seth Curry in there against him. He'll put it up. Big body Seth Curry, and Christian Wood has a double-double after that one. Nice work there from Wood. Nope. Get out. No, that's even worse, though. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see if we can get a screen here from Kelly Hamilton. Caruso mid-range. No good. Hamilton rebound. Puts it up. And, man, not a boy Kelly Hamilton. I like that he goes in after he sets screens instead of, you know, just, like, hanging out and trying to get back on defense. Like, we want those rebounds, baby. And a Kelly nice pass there from Patty McCoy. I tried to get it into Kelly. Uh, originally, but that did not go as planned. Probably a good chance for a lob there. Uh, but I, like I said, just didn't quite get the pass to him in time, but still two points nonetheless. Back up to a five-point lead here for the meme team. Going with a little bit of a, another small ball lineup here as we have Justin Holiday at the four. Once again, just trying to get some of our, uh, trying to get Christian Wood, Taco, and Bulbo a little bit of energy back. And so far, it's looking like it's working out. Maybe we can run on this squad a little bit here. Patty McCaw is headed at the rim, couldn't quite get it in, and then Dwight Powell steals it after I didn't try to pass it to him. Nice bucket, Kelly Hamilton in the mid-range. Seems like this kid hits just about everything from in there. That's what we like to see. So let's see if he can harass Porzingis up here. This is definitely where we want him to shine. Garden Biggs is out here on the perimeter. No way. Oh, I was about to say. All right, seven-point lead heading into the fourth. We definitely need to play a good fourth quarter to try to hold this lead, but I'd say as long as we, you know, just keep pace with them, we'll obviously be all right. Hit it, Moutier. Yes, sir. Manuel Moutier for three. Coming off the screen. Had a little, I thought, I kind of felt like I had a little too much room. It was a little deep, but you know what? Money for Emmanuel Moutier nonetheless as I just left Porzingis for three. I'll probably get it right back. Andy does. God dang it. Accidentally switch characters, and that's what I get. Wow, the, the Mavs announcer really wants them to get into it. But it just does not seem like they are. There's old Bobo in one, yes, sir. Pump faked, and Jalen Brunson jumped. And then it's easy from there as he just has the serious height advantage. So, six straight points on two possessions for the meme team. Nice job there from Bobo, and it's an eight point game all of a sudden. We're going to use a screen from Bulbul here to set up Dinwiddie. So we're just going to send him right at Porzingis. He tries to throw up a, a uh, reverse. So I was kind of hoping he'd just go up strong and maybe draw the foul. As there's Okoro again for three. So he finally does decide to miss. And now we have Christian Wood pushing it up the floor. He's got Jalen Brunson on him. Maybe not. So we're going to try to get a screen here with a, from Christian Wood with Dini. Can you do anything with it here? Maybe a little too much room for Spencer Dinwiddie again. That was looking like the best choice that we had out of that possession. Let's get up here, Dini. you got to guard this man. And it's going to be a Porzingis slam. Come on, Bull Bull. Catch up, dude. You know what? Dinwiddie is... Oh, my gosh. I hate when that happens. But he's got a ton of open room right here. And he's going to blow by Jalen Brunson. Easy peasy for Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, that's that's what I wish would happen whenever I call for an ISO. They just clear out like that. Because we could probably drive around a lot more people with Spencer Dinwiddie if we could get more ISOs like that. As Porzingis just decided to pull one. That actually kind of surprised me. Now here's THJ inside. Lobbed a bull bull. A little too contested. Not quite, good enough, not quite a good enough lob for him to slam it down. Nice pass, Dini over to Bulbul, Bull, who knocks it down in the mid-range. Dini is Vicha on the drive, sees Porzingis collapse and whips it out to Bulbul Bull for a nice, easy mid-range bucket. Still an eight-point lead with less than three minutes to go for the meme team. Looking like we may come home with a victory. We decided to go very defensive-minded with the guards here to close out the game just to try and... We're basically playing... Uh, not trying to outscore them, just trying to really prevent them from scoring. Because there was good defense from Caruso just staying with... Staying with Luca the whole time, and now we're just going to slow it on down as actually maybe 
Okay, I should have slowed it on down. Uh, so on this possession, we are really going to take our time here. So maybe try to set up a floppy for an easy three if we've got it. If not, well, I don't know what we're going to do, but... And now let's just try to get a pick and roll here. Still not a whole lot going on. Oh, gosh. Get it back in there. Put it up. And we got a shot clock violation. All right. Well, you know what? We did take a lot of time off, but it's now just a six-point game. And if they get another three here, it'll be down to just a one possession. So let's maybe get a steal on the inbounds pass here. How was that not stolen? Oh, good steal, Caruso. There's a steal. Caruso crossing over. Trying to get inside. Maybe not. Let's just bring it back out. Very good steal there from Caruso. Very clutch steal. Now we're going to use the screen. He's going to go inside against Luca, and he gets fouled. So he will head to the line. Maybe with the, maybe to be able with a chance to put the game on ice. I wish I could speak right there. But he knocks them both down. That's what we like to see from Caruso. Up to an eight-point game. This is exactly why we put in the defensive guards. Mavs got a lucky three on their last possession. So it is now down to a five-point game. So we're going to drive in with Nico. Don't really want to test. Uh, don't want to test Porzingis like that. So now we're going to give it back to Caruso, who's dropping it into Taco. It gets around Porzingis, and he draws the foul. So Taco Fall could make it a six- or seven-point game here with these free throws. First one rims out. Come on, Taco. We need it. He misses them both. Oh, God. We've put in Bulbul as well, though, just for an extra rebounding is all known. Maxi Kleba hits the three, and it's down to a two-point game. What is happening? Well, we are going to call a timeout and get the starters back in. What is going on? So we put in the starters except for Deeney just because I don't feel like Deeney was really making that much of a difference uh, here so far. But we are going to use as much of this clock as possible. Saw Spencer Dinwiddie right around his man again. That, wasn't used, that did not use a whole lot of clock, but when we've got an easy bucket like that, we have to take it as he blew by Jalen Brunson right there, and it's a four-point lead. So the Mavericks just used their last timeout. Let's see if we can D up on him here and force a stop. Then it would just be down up to free throws there. As he is wide open on the inside, and they're going to take the quick two. As we definitely, I mean, Bulbul wouldn't be a bad option to shoot these free throws, but it's not exactly my first option either. As they do foul Spencer Dinwiddie, so he will head to the line. First one is good. Second one is up, and good as well for Spencer Dinwiddie. Very nice job there from the line. There's the three from Brunson. It's no good, so they're going to foul Bull Bull now. He will head to the line already, a four-point game, as he will nail the first. I'd say one more will definitely do it. As he misses the second, as that might have been for the best now that they, because the clock will run. As they're going to drop it inside. Now that's not even a three. And that is your ball game from Ma from Dallas. I almost said from Mavericks. That's not their. Uh, that's not the name of the town. But the meme team gets a five-point win. We improve to now seven and three on the season. We've got some simming to do and a box score to check out. So stay tuned. So looking at the box score from the first game, Jalen Brunson ends up being the leading scorer for the Mavericks with 26 and 10. A nice game from him with a double-double. Porzingis had 22 and 16. Luka with 20 and 14, but on 10 to 28 shooting. So honestly, we'll take that. 14 for Okoro and 14 for DeLon Wright. So some honestly some pretty good games from the Mavericks. But Spencer Dinwiddie, 34 points, no assists, no steals, no blocks, two turnovers. Really was just a bucket getter tonight. Bull Bull, 24 points, 14 rebounds. Huge game for him. No blocks, which is a little surprising, but still a great game nonetheless. As Kelly Hamilton continues to hopefully have a rookie of the year season average. He had dropped 22 this game with eight rebounds. That's a nice game. He doesn't usually do too terribly well in the seemings, but uh, if we can continue to put up performances like that in, in user games, we should be all right. Christian Wood with 12 and 10, a nice double-double for him. Moody came off the bench and put in 10. Caruso had eight points, uh, missed all six of his shots, but got uh, that pretty clutch steal and guarded Luka pretty well at the end of the game. Six for Dini, eight and 10 for Taco, and THJ and McCaw, and Nico, and Justin Audi all did not score. We need a little bit more production out of THJ for sure, but he did get six assists. As now let's go ahead and simulate past these next two games all the way to the Jazz game as we take two L's. Nice. As they want to give us Diedrich Morris Sr. 
a guy who's on a two-way contract, and Robert Williams for Dania Zvica. That might be a little enticing um, if we didn't already have... Uh, you know what? Hold on. I do think that we are going to decline that trade just because we already are pretty set up at center. Dania honestly hasn't performed very well, um, so I, that's why I considered it. So I can't believe we just lost these two games because the Pacers are only 4-6, and six, and we were at home in this game. Come on, meme team. Bobel had 24, 5, 2, two assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. Pretty nice game from him. 15 and 5 for Christian Wood. 13 more for Kelly Hamilton. 11 and 6 for Dinwiddie. 9 for Moutier. 8 for THJ McCaw. As Taco really does not perform well on Sims. We might have to down his minutes. Um, but what, how, who did they have that really scored well? Miles Turner had 23 and 10. Will, was that Will Red? Yeah, had 19. 16 for Gordon Hayward. Okay. And 16 for Brogdon as Markel Fultz had. 12 as well as Sabonis played like absolute garbage, and they don't even have Oladipo, and we still lost. Cool. And the Timberwolves beat us by one. Nice. And we outscored him by 12 in the last quarter, and we still they still beat us by one. 25 for Dinwiddie and Hamilton. Still good games from the rookie. Love to see it. 17 for THJ. 11 and 12 for Bobo. 10 for Moutier. 8 for, eight for, eight for Dini. Good Lord. 6 for McCaw and Nico. And uh, four for Mays and Taco as Christian Wood popped a whole zero bomb. That's what we're talking about. Nine rebounds, but only shot the ball twice, so I guess it's not that bad. As D'Angelo Russell dropped 29 for them, six rebounds, nine assists. Pretty nice game from him. 23 for R.J. Hampton, 15 for Okogi, 14 for Ubre and Towns. As Towns had 12 rebounds and nine assists, so just went away from a triple-double. As I don't know who this is, Tyshawn Alexander. Okay, he had 12 as well. But that does it for this episode. Leave a like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this episode of the Meme Team. Let me know who you want to play in this next game. It'll be the Jazz, uh, Celtics, or Raptors. Um, and I will see all you guys there. Bye-bye.